Hi, this is Mad Dog Games, your funny game sensei. Welcome back to the next episode for my step-by-step -step series. A series where I'll be breaking everything down by steps over parts so I can make it super and simple for you guys to do. Now in today's video, we're going to be learning how to do a combo for rain. I chose this combo because it's practical and does a fair amount of damage. But before we get started, I have to mention a couple of things. We have a lot of things to work on, so here is the format that we're going to be doing throughout the video. And if you're looking for more videos like this for other characters, there is a link of the series and similar ones in the description down below. This is the 26th episode in the series. And be sure to stick around because at the end of the video, I'll be announcing the next character I'll be working on. Anyways, to be able to perform this combo, you need Hydra Boots equipped. If you're new to Mortal Kombat 11, you can customize your move list by following the text above to get there. With that being said, let us start off with round 1. The first thing you want to do for part 1 is rising water, which is back to 1. Next, for part 2, now you want to add advancing hydro boost, which is back forward forward, forward and amplify. For part 3, as you're coming down, you want to add Kadar Cutter, which is 2. Part 4, now you're going to need to dash into Deadly Tsunami, which is pressing forward forward and then 2 forward 2. Part 5, you want to end it off with Argus Plunge, which is back forward 3. Round 2. In this part of the video, we're going to be talking about common mistakes when trying to do this combo, alternative combos for easier or similar combos, and then end it with strategies when using these combos. Common mistake. For someone that is picking a rain for the first time, a common mistake I can see that can happen is not being able to connect your dash quick enough to land the deadly tsunami and the rest of this combo. Here is something you need to know about using the dash and 242. These inputs are what is called dialing inputs, meaning that these buttons won't come out until it's dialed in quickly and correctly. For example, here's my controller doing forward, forward for dash. If I do it normally, nothing happens. If I do it quickly, then it does happen. Same with 242. If you do it normal speed, nothing happens. If I do it in one quick press, then it does come out. So when doing this combo, you want to make sure you're pressing forward in the earliest time possible and then start inputting 242 while you're finishing the dash animation because it does take time to start up. This is something you have to practice and learn by trial and error to see what I mean. Now, the next mistake I can see beginners making is relying on this combo string as your main way to start your damage and pressure. Although thieves in a Danian temple don't leave you safe on block at negative 4, the startup can be punished by something faster than 10 frames like a straight jab which is 7 if not 8 frames. Not to mention that this has very short range so you have to get in close to use this attack. Playing as rain, it's best to keep changing your approach that way it keeps your opponent on their toes. You can achieve this by grabbing, poking, zoning, setups and other types of mixups and pressure. Alternative Combos In this section, I'll show you some similar combos which does include an easier option. This first one will be an easier alternative in case you found the main combo a little challenging. As for the rest of the combos in this section, I'll be showing you the universal combos, wake up combos, and other mid screen combos using special moves equipped. You know, a little bit of everything to get you ready. Combo Strategy 
The great thing about this combo is that this already has plenty of corner carry, helping you place your opponent into the corner, which is a strong viable strategy. You can either continue your pressure or do your corner combos, which I will now introduce Rain's corner combos. Now that we got your opponent here, these are the combos I recommend using. Let us start off with one of his best pressure tools, Thicker Than Water. This is a good combo starter simply because it has a 7 frame startup, this will be your fastest punisher. Take note that this will leave you barely safe at negative 7 frames on block. It is important that you mix it up with Let's Get Crazy to pressure or punish your opponent. This is negative 3 on block, however, opponents can duck the last hit since it's a high. This is where Scandalous comes in, which is almost the exact same thing but the last hit is an overhead. This is negative six on block, leaving you safe. But you also have to keep in mind that this can be flawless block if your opponent is skilled enough. So don't get cocky with it. Another string he has that is great for Rain's pressure is Rising Water, your main tool to get your offense started. It is a good hit confirmed tool if you notice this landed on your opponent. This has a 10 frame startup and is negative seven on block, which leaves you barely safe. If opponent starts trying to take their turn, you can punish them or keep the pressure going by doing thieves in the Danian temple and this will leave you negative 4 on block. So mix these two up to trick your opponent and keep your turn. You can use Riptide as a combo ender to restand your opponent. What this will do is not allow your opponent to wake up and in the corner will create a great opportunity for you to keep your offense. One last thing you must learn how to master when playing with Rain is Wave Dashing, which is a movement mechanic that allows certain characters with faster walk speed excel in movement and blocking. This strategy will allow you to play mainly defensively and offensively, hoping your opponent will whiff something. Rain in general does not have the best mix up to open opponents up, so this is one way to let your opponent's guard down. To do it, you have to dash forward forward first then block afterwards and then move forward again and block, move forward and block repeatedly. Round three, finish them. In this section, we're going to learn the best way to finish your opponent off by using high damaging combos like crushing blow and fatal blow combos. Then we'll look at the character's pros and cons. Crushing blows. The requirement to trigger this first crushing blow is by punishing or countering your opponent by uppercutting. Fatal Blow. To be able to perform these Fatal Blow combos, you must have your health at 30% or less than 30% health. Pros and cons. Now let's talk about the strength and weaknesses for playing as Rain. Now for the pros. Now Rain has fast normal attacks, good pressure options, great movement, and overall medium level execution. Now for the cons for playing as Rain. Now Rain has decent damage. Sometimes his combos can turn out to be high execution level, short range normals, and plenty of dial-in inputs. For example, it's 242, which can be difficult to pull off sometimes. Thanks for taking the time to practice and improve on your character of your choice. Subscribe now and hit the bell icon because in the next episode of the series, I'll be covering Cetrion.
If this video helped you, let me know by giving this video a like. This will also help YouTube recommend other videos to watch. So make sure you hit the like button. This is Mad Dog Games, your fighting game sensei, signing off. I'll see you guys next time.